Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. G'day, namaste. If you're new here, welcome to G'day, namaste. Today, I'm going to be doing a bit of a follow-on actually. Uh, early on when I started my channel, I did a video on applications that have helped me adjust or adapt easier. So I'm going to do something similar today, but rather than apps, actually I think there is an app on there, websites. So a list of, I guess, five different categories or websites that not help me adjust, but they just make my life easier here um, for different reasons. So I'll go through those. If you like the video, please hit the like button, subscribe, turn on the little bell, and you won't miss anything that I post. prescription from your doctor you can actually upload and you can buy your medication online which I have found to be super helpful because with my antidepressants and also most recently my um, my anti-anxiety tablets it's a bit hard to try and find them in person unless you go to a unless you go to a hospital to get them like from their pharmacy there so yeah you can actually just buy your medication online upload the prescription and it's actually a lot cheaper too so there's three two different websites that i've used the first one is netmeds.com i'll put that up here and also in the description um that's the cheapest that i've found they will also do like a follow-up call just to confirm your prescription they also have doctor's consultations so maybe you're not feeling well and you don't want to go out to see a doctor or maybe <laughs> happens to me there's a fear of there being a language barrier with a doctor outside especially if you live in a smaller area you can actually book a consultation with a doctor through netmeds and then they can write you the medicine that you need so yeah it's just like a video consultation and then you can order it and get your medicine which i think is super super cool um i haven't had to use that service yet as in the doctor video consultations but I think it's really good to know that that's available. The next one is Apollo Medicines. I can't really remember the website, but I'll put it up top. Um, they do same day delivery depending on where you are and depending on the medication or um, the pharmacy products that you need. So I was sick a few weeks ago and I wanted to buy some of those rapid COVID tests. So yeah, I ordered it, um, I think the morning of and it came a few hours later so I meant I didn't have to go outside or try and get Sunil to try and find some from the pharmacies here because they're not um, stocked in a lot of the pharmacies mostly the bigger ones so yeah that was really great uh, they also have the same doctor service like NetMeds where you can book a consultation a video a video consultation with the doctor and then um, purchase like all of your medication or medicine or whatever on there and the third one is a website called Practo and that's where you can have video consultations with doctors of any specialty. So maybe you want to try and find a psychiatrist or if you're a female maybe a gynecologist. Um, I can't remember. They just have like general practitioners. Yeah a whole range of different specialists. So again I think these website or these online options are really convenient especially if there is that risk of the language barrier because most of the time they're going to be speaking English and that's a huge deterrent for me a lot of the time to go outside or try and seek help whether it's for my physical health or mental um, trying to go outside and find someone because you just don't know if there's going to be a language barrier or not so I think this is a really great service. I haven't had to use it myself, but I do know some people who have used it for different specialties and it's been a real lifesaver for them. So I have talked a little bit about um, how I don't eat meat anymore, I'm a pescatarian. So I still uh, eat seafood on the odd occasion. Um, I've recently stopped eating eggs, mostly. Um, but yeah, plant-based meats have just really there's been a rise of them over the last few years mostly out of the pandemic and there's a few brands that I like to use the main one is Blue Tribe Blue Tribe Meats I think it's called no sorry Blue Tribe Foods um, I actually have like a 15% off discount code so I'll put that in the description for you uh, you can order straight from their website or they, they're also on Amazon they are a little bit expensive but they're very enjoyable their chicken nuggets taste exactly like chicken nuggets it's crazy um, I like to buy their um, 
their chicken keema mix, which is tastes like, I guess, chicken mince or the mutton mix. Um, sausages are a bit um, hit and miss, if I'm being completely honest. The, the pork sausages taste like chicken sausages, and the chicken sausages kind of taste like a really bland vegetarian sausage. I think there could be some work done on those, but the keema mix, definitely winner, same with the chicken nuggets. They've also recently brought out some burger patties. I make my own burger patties from the, um, the keema mix because it's just mints anyway. They also have um, plant-based momos if you're a momos fan. And they've also brought out some like seek kebabs and a few other different varieties. And another brand I actually get from Amazon is called, I think Desi Treats or something. And I like to get their, they're called mock chicken. Um, but it's very easy to make your own. And Snill always laughs at me because I pay for this when he made it for me once. You just soak a bunch of soya chunks and you have to soak them and then drain them squeeze all the water out and then put it through a food processor and blend it and then you can kind of like mash it together and it makes this <laughs> the same kind of product so i just order those from amazon as well one of my favorite hobbies here and it probably is what kept me the most sane in my first year living here was reading books or is reading books um i still have access to my Monday is Diwali, so people are letting off crackers now. <laughs> that was really loud. Um, yes, yeah, so I still have access to my Australian library accounts, and so I'm able to borrow ebooks through their online library. But I still like to read physical books. I really love the, the touch of books. But, you know, I wasn't working then, and it's a bit expensive to be buying brand new books all the time. There's this one website called Book Chore, and um, they do secondhand and brand new books and you can also resell your old books to them. Um, they also do book fairs around a lot of the large cities. I've been to two of their book fairs in Chandigarh. There's another one coming up next month. And I actually did a video in Hindi of a similar book fair by a different company that's called Katab Lovers. So they're pretty much the same. They have the same services and features. You can sell your secondhand books, buy secondhand books, buy brand new books. Um, you can also buy like boxes of books, like surprise boxes um, online. So yeah, book chore saved me a lot, like because I'm able to buy these like boxes of books and then when I'm finished, I can just sell them back and take it off the cost of the next, um, the next book box that I wanna buy. So if you are a big uh, reading, oh my gosh, I can't talk. If you're a big big book lover like me or love reading, um, Kitab Lovers and Book Chore, two very, very useful websites. The next one, um, I guess kind of could fall in the medical category, but it's more so vitamins and supplements. So I actually used to work for a vitamin company in Australia, a very, very popular one called Ethical Nutrients. I think it's now known as Metagenics. Um, so yeah, I've been taking multivitamins and supplements for a very long time. And when I moved here, I actually stopped. So probably like nearly two years ago, I started um, taking vitamins religiously again. So in the morning, I take a multivitamin and vitamin D capsule. At night before bed, I take a ZMA, which is zinc, magnesium, and a vitamin B6 to help like, to help sleep, to help me sleep. And I also take creatine post-workout and also um, a protein shake in the morning and also in the evening. Um, I like to get my vitamins and supplements from a website called Health Cart. And the brand I usually get is Muscle Blaze. Uh, it's a very well reputable, reputable brand here in India. But Health Cart has probably been the most consistent brand and when i first moved here i was buying random like vitamins and supplements from amazon but you just don't know if they're genuine or not and i really like health card especially muscle blaze because you know you can actually check the um like how if they're genuine products they have like a label on the inside so you can check to see if they're genuine products or not and they're very very high quality as well so if you're someone like me that loves um to take supplements or new uh, vitamins and things uh health Health Cart's really good. They also have 
um, you know, it's not just supplements for working out or like gym either. They have a huge range of different vitamins, minerals. They also have nutritionists on there. So you can get a personalized diet plan on there if you want. Um, you can ask questions about any of their products. Uh, if you have any questions about like your own health, you can do all of that in the app or the website. So I've been using Health Cut for nearly two years now. Um, and yeah, I don't think I've bought my vitamins from anywhere else during that time. Uh, last but not least is my favorite new discovery. Um, in the, <clears throat> the uh, my last video where I talked about the apps that have helped me adjust, I talked about Big Basket, which is an online like grocery um, grocery store. So they recently brought out this new platform called Big Basket Daily. And what it is, it's just for people living in apartments though, but they do guaranteed next morning delivery before eight o'clock and it's just a one rupee delivery charge. So it's next to no nothing. And as long as you put your order in before 10 p.m. at night, you will get your things delivered the next day. And it's just, I think, their way of trying to, of trying to get people to order directly from them rather than going to some of the other smaller markets, which I guess is probably bad for the smaller markets, but Big Basket Daily is good because of language barriers. Again, that's what it comes down to, convenience for me and also language barriers. I do everything online. Um, so all you have to do is put like a, um, like a grocery bag on your, at the front of the door and they'll put your groceries inside the bag. And then yeah, you just open up the door the next morning and your groceries are there. And that's where I get my almond milk from now. I buy like my cheddar cheese from there. Uh, sometimes if I, if I've run out of things and I don't realize until late at night and I don't want to go to the supermarket, I can just order on big basket daily. And I love it, honestly. I just get so much from there now, like when I think, oh my God, I forgot to get this from the supermarket. Yeah, customer service is really good. Like there's been a few times where I haven't had something um, delivered or I've had the wrong thing delivered and I just send a photo and contact customer support and straight, straight away they just refund it. Like there's no sort of questions or doubts about it. And I really, really appreciate that because I've had some bad customer service experiences at this, when I first moved here where there was a lot of doubting from the company <laughs> about like the, you know, my claim. So yeah, I, I would just recommend Big Basket Daily to anyone and everyone if you live in an apartment complex and um, if you have it available, it is so easy. Yeah, I just do all of that from Big Basket Daily and it just saves so much time and effort and convenience, which is what I'm all about. All right, so made it this far. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts, if there's any other suggestions um, any websites that you use that has really helped you adjust or is a time saver um, that's, that you use for convenience, let me know because, you know, I'm always looking for things to make my life a bit more easier. Um, and yeah, so thank you for watching. I will see you again, same time, same place next week.